Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be talking about this Roblox developer who was pretty much part of the Sinister Six. Now, he didn't exactly do like the craziest stuff, but he still associated himself with people who were like pedophiles and sexual harassers. Now, um, he still did do some bad stuff, but that's not gonna be the worst stuff we're covering today. So I have his uh, response video up. We're just gonna watch it and I'm gonna review it. And I also have the uh, document of everything he did. So, I don't know, I'll chapter or something. Let's just go. Yo, so, uh, some stuff. Okay, first off, this monkey's made, like, so much money. I don't understand why his microphone's so bad. Now, I will say, my microphone used to be bad, but I'm not a Roblox developer who has made tons of money. Um, yeah. I don't know why there's ABA background uh, gameplay either. It's a little silly. Came out. There's a... A lot of misinformation. I'm just making this video to clear some stuff up. Firstly, and mainly, I want to talk about the shit with the 16-year-old guy doing stuff on camera in our call. I was completely absent from that. I was just typing away scripting. I didn't say a word at all. You might have seen my mic. Okay. Uh, you were just digging, 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 typing away scripting. That you were still there. That's what that means. You were still there in the call present when there was a 15-year-old twerking. Am I crazy or? You were still there, there. like, just because you didn't technically tell them to twerk doesn't mean you weren't there watching them twerk. And I still don't believe the part where he said, oh, I was just scripting away. Man on what? Certainly wasn't Arcane Lineage. Zam. Like, pop up? I didn't say anything. That's I think the twerking thing happened over a year ago before the reset of Arcane Lineage. I'll say that, though. So, he was scripting, was scripting very well. Just my keyboard. I got nothing to do with it. Is it weird that they were doing it? Yes. Ethan, the guy that was laughing, already left the internet. Dan wasn't laughing along it, and all he said was, what the fuck? Everyone else wasn't really saying much either. I'll throw up a few screenshots from the guy who was doing it in BC. But the yeah, um... Oh, moment. I'm scratching my nose. So, yeah, that's not how grooming works. The same thing with the Mr. Beast allegations. Lava was like, guys, I swear I did not get groomed. And then all the Discord messages leak, and it's like, wowzers. Now this guy was groomed. Uh, like this is a D1 getting groomed response, I'm not gonna lie. Now again, technically, we don't really know. But you still can't just let someone, 15, 16 year old, twerk in front of you. Especially when you're an adult. That's uh, that's not okay, man. So let's continue. This guy's streaming, because uh, he wants to put his own case and his own words out, because he's... Yeah, that's, that's still not... Can I use that refer response today, by the way? And if so, anything else you want to add? Yes, literally. Paid for all my specs, 200 of you, and like 400 prox, LMAO, sure. I'd like to add that nobody in that VC told me to do anything. It was in the middle of nowhere, I was just bored out of my mind. You can hear y'all be surprised when I did it. Never got any specs for it, or nothing. Yeah, that's, that still doesn't make it okay. Um, yeah, like, that, that doesn't change anything. It doesn't change the fact they were all in a call with a minor twerking. Again, it still doesn't work like that. I don't have a voice. But it's up to each person's opinions and its interpretation. These aren't even the worst thing, they, by the way. Secondly, the trans comment I made after the show got demoted. That one was a joke. Pretty clearly. I wouldn't no. say like that. No. No. It was not pretty clearly. We'll review that more when we get to the document. But there is no way that was very clearly a joke. You... They weren't even trans. You just... You were just harassing someone. Like, we'll talk I, about it more. I mentioned it all. It was in the announcements channel of a Discord with 60,000 active users. It was a big joke in the Shinden community. That's all it was. Uh-huh. I, I strongly recall apologizing to either Citra herself or one of her friends sometimes later. If I didn't, I'll take this opportunity to say sorry now, Citria. Yeah, only a year or two late. Good job, Nova. Finally, the screenshot of me sending that manga panel. For those who don't know, that's a show. Now, we can't, obviously, that panel, we can't excuse them on. It is down to down. Uh, I know lots of people who have fully read the manga. Um... There really isn't much to say about it. That's just an out of context thing. Yeah, manga, Don Don, which is getting an anime adaptation soon. It was just a weird panel for a popular manga that I saw sent to some friends. It was nothing more. Yeah, only true nothing thing he said here. Nothing really relates to me at all. For the people in there, feel free to form your own opinions. I don't agree with what Ethan did back then. He's left the internet anyways. Pan, who's the one that sent the weird images about kids, was 14 at the time. Doesn't fully excuse what he sent. That's for him to defend, not me. I don't know. In conclusion, it was shit from a few years ago, back when we were way less. Oh, he's really bad at making bad videos. Bad influences from friend him. groups, bad humor. None of it relates to we're like today. It, you, you can see that. We're, we're a lot different now. But, oh. Um, by the way, I'll also be leaking 
group chats that Nova put in the CC chat. But um, here, here's the document. Y'all can read it. I don't really want to go through it. Wait, let me adjust that for y'all so it's uh, symmetrical. Um, I'll go a little slowly on this first part while I'm yapping. So the document has a lot of stuff, right? And I do want to include, Nova was technically true about saying that all this stuff wasn't about him, but he still associated himself with this. It's the same thing with Mr. Beast. Just because Mr. Beast only hired Chris Tyson, Ava Tyson, someone who is a pedophile, hired Delaware, someone who was, um, was a sex offender, that doesn't make Mr. Beast innocent. He's still guilty of having these people on, especially when he makes content for kids. Nova makes Roblox games. That's literally mostly for kids. Now, technically, you could say, oh, the genre of Roblox games he makes isn't for kids. But that still doesn't excuse it. And plus, lots of kids played Arcane Lineage. So, here. This is, um, the person who made this, I want to say, I was very confused at first, but I'm, like, pretty sure they're a woman. It's going to be Citria is the main person who made this document, by the way. Now, here's Ethan, one of Nova's friends. And Citria having a conversation. Pretty much Citria apparently got their nudes leaked. I think that's what I'm getting as the context for this. I'm not too entirely sure because it was a little confusing to me. But from what Aldi show, it does seem like they're just leaks of nudes. And Ethan was even complimenting them on them even though they got leaked. Like what the Sigma leak came. It's not too bad yet, but it's still really weird. And then Nova, this is when he meets Nova after he gets admin for Shinnam. Now, they were obviously with the friend group, Burning Coat, Gak, Ethan, and himself. Uh, pretty much, he just randomly got removed from admin team. Oh, goodness. After, you know, all his friend group, like, ping everyone and say, Oh, you're a trans person, and stuff like that. When, by the way, this person, again, is not trans at all. And... But the cause of pretty much letting the server know that they were a trans person, even though they weren't. Um, they received threats, death threats, harassment from other server members, because we all know that Roblox players aren't the most tolerant people. This is just crazy, though. Like, this person was just consistently harassed. This isn't even the main person. Well, they made the document, but this isn't, like, the worst. Right? So, now we're going to Adam Meets Pants. This is a friend of Nova's and Ethan's, but obviously we only care about Nova. Um, here's this one. Mm, if I was Citria, I, I guess I would smash. She would just need to lose some weight first. Her babe's too big. And perhaps I would take her out. Enjoy yourselves. Enjoy the lavish life that I can provide her. That's how Adam Eats Pants was on, by the way. Citria. Hi. Have you been a good girl this year? <laughs> yeah, that's Adam Eats Pants, though. He's a, he's a weirdo. He does more weird stuff. We're gonna see in a sec. Oh, goodness, it's the morning. Yeah, and I don't really want to open the video, but, um, it was pretty much video proof saying that, um, he would do stuff to Citria. Oh, well, he invited Adam back, so maybe not. Definitely a womanizer. Okay, here is Pandev. No, it's just friends with a genuine pedophile. Yippee! Um, I think I can't show that in the video. I'll link the document in case you want to see. But, um, there's more stuff. And then, the video got removed from the document. But pretty much, Nova and the gang had, again, that 15-year-old twerk. Apparently, they didn't receive specs. Whatever, man. Because it was probably over a year ago, and they were groomed, so... Let's just get a little for real right now. And then, obviously, it's just down and down. We can excuse that, but then the other stuff. Um, yeah, Ethan asks them to shake that ass. He never, and then we're gonna talk about Canadian MRE. Um, he wasn't really that bad, but he kind of just sat there and let stuff happen. There's a lot of text, so I'm just gonna scroll over it. Like, clearly, Canadian didn't really care about anything. It was just straight up being annoying and kind of harassing Citria too. Uh, I don't think sexually. I didn't fully read Canadian's stuff because he has a lot of stuff. The Some of these people are type sold devs, by the way. Like, uh, Nova is a big type sold dev. Canadian is a type sold dev. Hopefully nothing in the type soul community like this is going on right now. But yeah, Citria is pretty much being doxxed. Um, I'm probably gonna cut that part out, but again, you can- Doxxing's gonna be in the description. So, uh, if I pass by something too fast, you can always see. Uh, I mean, technically, Canadian could be black, but dropping slurs like that's a little weird. Even if you are a black person. 
Oh, wait, no. Yeah, look at the rest of that message now. That's pretty crazy. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't read the whole document, but, uh, yeah. That's uh, that's uh, good, man. And then, yep. Guys, Noelva is so real. La, 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 la. Please do not take that out of context. I would like to keep my life. But, um, yeah, so here is the all stuff, I guess. And we're fastly, quickly gonna review some of Noelva's messages that he has on the server and stuff. So let me just open that real quick. Okay, so here's some of the aftermath. Um, like obviously, uh, I forgot who that was, Kuko? I don't remember his name, real or fake. Made sure Mitchum too busted, please nerf. Or we'll make a cameo. And that same day, these were before the allegations dropped, same day, the Nuova allegations doc is blast busted, because it got NSFW in it. If you send it, send it, you'll get timed out for a day. I think the reason this working video was removed was so that it could be sent in the server. But, um, there's also some stuff from video. Arcane lineage. Well, we already knew it wasn't going to update, but this some copers that thought it would. Um, you know, stuff's just bad. Like, deflecting the situation had nothing to do with me. People blaming me for other people's stuff. Like, buddy, you can't just be friends with the Sinister Sticks and not count yourself as a supervillain. It doesn't work like that. Like, again, the Mr. Beast thing. Like, he, he associated himself with weirdos, and it is coming out. He just done some pretty... He's done illegal stuff as well, but... Not, like, sexually, at least, I guess. But he did still some pretty bad stuff. Um, but yeah. And then here's for CC General. I'm gonna go up a bit. Uh. Didn't, didn't know. Delete is, oh, wait, it was way up. My bad, guys. Here it is. It was made from Gold Killer talking, and then it was. No, like, no, no motivation, because back in isn't great, and it's not a game any of us can play enough fun on. Realistically, this update might be the last. I don't know. If I'm trusty, do you want to work on it? Else? We'll do this stuff later. And then it's like, you know, why, why would you wait for the cutscene to drop to release the game? And then Nova's like, I don't know, I'll only work on Tundra if they have a good amount of Tundra done already. Matro has completed his work, I'm pretty sure. Or all of Tundra, unless I'm crazy. Um, yeah, and I was saying, you know, he wasn't coming back. And then Vows was like, just hand off the game. And Nova was like, ah, ah, I don't want it, be. And then we're like, okay, that doesn't really make any sense. He's like, I can't trust someone without experience. Matro is sitting right there. But again, like, Matro can't do- Like, he doesn't have the funding of Arcane Lineage because he didn't get a bunch of the game's revenue, right? Um, we were saying, like, yeah, but you could just fund Matro a little so you can have a little dev team and stuff. It is, like, realistically, it is a dream. But the passing off game thing doesn't make sense, even if he wouldn't have had a full team to technically do it. Matro- well, Arcane Lineage would have been good in Matro's hands. Um... I mean, I'm just dropping these. Half of, half of this is... I don't know what that is. Oh, yeah. Math stuff. But yeah, here it is. Um. So, yeah. Like, no, but... Sorry, buddy, but you can't be doing all this. Uh, maybe hop off Roblox? Go join the Diddy Party. I guess we got our pedophile of August, and it was Nova Primer. But, um, yeah. If you like the video, make sure to like and subscribe. And hopefully the next video is not about a pedophile. Bye-bye. Okay, so it looks like I'm going to be banning this on to the end, but I was, I was thinking to myself when I finished recording, why didn't he just delete the server when the allegations dropped? The game was not coming out anyway. Nothing was happening. But, I will say that they did shut down the server, so it doesn't look like you can invite anyone right now. Because I was trying to invite my alt while, you know, all this stuff was happening. So that, you know, when I post the video, I'm still not out of the server. In case they ban me, right? But, uh, yeah. It sucks, man. It sucks.